We are here at Hendon Road. This is the most haunted road in Singapore. To get there, you'll need to drive to the eastern side of Singapore, Changi area. It's a quiet road. No traffic, no one passes here. You'll pass by a couple of old British colonial buildings. Time seems to come to a standstill in laid-back Changi. And you'll be through a small two-lane road, trails into a bend, towards Hendon Hill. It is a narrow two-way road up Hendon Hill. These old colonial British buildings. There's that air of mysticism of days long gone. The airport is just 11 kilometers from here. Flanked by trees, this road has remained the same ever since World War II, so the aura, the memories, the structure, the surroundings remain the same. And walking here brings you back to the time of those bloody turbulent years. It's not a long road, but with a long history. Its surroundings are quiet and spooky. Nobody lives here. The Changi area has a dark reputation to begin with, with spine-chilling chalet ghost stories and Changi Beach's grim World War II past. The beach was also the site of 1942's Operation Suk Ching, where about 400 Chinese men were shot executed by the Hojo Kempei, the Japanese military police, and their bodies discarded to the sea. Walking here, one can't help but shake the feeling of being watched or worse, being followed. It's hard to shake the feeling of unease after knowing the history behind the place, especially if you find yourself alone here at night. The quietness is unnerving. While most roads are kind of creepy, this one truly takes the cake. Images of souls roaming the corridors of these majestic colonial buildings are very somber sad stillness. Looking back if there's someone behind you, it's just one of the weird feelings. It's okay. Funny, this fear makes your throat dry. Over the years, those who wandered here have claimed to hear sounds of marching boots and bugle sounds. He Hospital was used by the Japanese as concentration camp to hold more than 50,000 prisoners of war and as a torture chamber during the Japanese occupation. The abandoned building still stands with its reputation of being one of the spookiest places in Singapore, if not in the world. After dark is where this place comes to life. Stories of headless bodies, wandering, presumably victims of Japanese beheadings, wandering ghost soldiers, prisoner spirits, these restless spirits, shadow figures, they're all dressed in rags, old army uniformed and marching to hear their to hear their screams of terror and the moans we've arrived it's a dead end road at the end of the road is the crowning glory the old chani hospital the, the epitome of evil of human suffering, cruelty, there it is. Eerily quiet, abandoned. Shortly after, it was abandoned. For many decades it became a thrill-seeking spot for ghost hunters, been the grounds for devil worship, and those seeking fortunes from the afterworld. Gamblers trying to get fort built in 1935 as the Royal Air Force Hospital, this hospital has seen better days. When Britain lost the war, invading Japanese army use it, used it as a prisoner camp and torture chamber. Old Chani Hospital has seen a lot of death and cruelty within its walls. Thousands were killed, executed or beheaded here, with untold senseless cruelty. Flashback to the history, the brutality, the senseless the killing of war. The area is known as a site for mass beheadings during the Japanese occupation, which explains the sightings of headless ghosts around. After end of the war and Japan's surrender, the Japanese soldiers, culprits of the massacre were executed on the same grounds. Some Japanese soldiers were said to have committed suicide after the surrender. So tit for tat, a kind of mixed cocktail of spirits and ghosts roamed this area.
haunted by the restless souls of those who were tortured to death or executed by the Japanese. If you haven't been spooked out yet, imagine a list of the scariest things you can encounter here. For this late night, solo, walk, so you some kind of feel lonely, feel sad, when your mind lingers so much pain, so much suffering, the lives lost here. If just the image of those soldiers prisoners walking on this road that terrify you, you imagine them, walking silently in silhouette, in despair, helpless against the brutal Japanese soldiers. On this road, this is where thousands walk to their deaths a slow, torturous death. It's creepy and foreboding, it's hard not to get worked up about this haunted road, the feeling is missed, fear, sadness, pity, horror, you feel sorry, you can call this death road. Imagine walking alone with no sound, with tall bushy trees surrounding you. Every now and again you could hear weird sounds of birds, scary, piercing the quiet night. The air is still, no breeze. They made as they died. Nobody knows. There is unfinished business, a creepy analogy. The dead just don't know they're dead and souls who have just refused to move on. Walking here alone, sometimes you paused. Here is not for the faint of heart. If you are seeking an adventure, being here alone at night should give you one hell of a time. It will definitely be a night to remember, but right when I was at the end of my nerves, I reached the end of the road, Yar road lights, but still no people, only your footsteps on the gravel road. This place just wants to be special. It's people, the staff, the soldiers, the prisoners, who just want to be remembered. I turned around and I took one last look. Yes, a road is just a road. A place is just a place, and you and I are just people who still believe that we are alive. This is one of those nights I will never forget, walking alone in Holden Road, the most eerie grim haunted road in Singapore. Thanks guys for watching, if you were pissed out, then subscribe.